Hi everyone, uh, this is uh, Vikram Jit Singh in RCIC. Together with me is Blanka, she's also in RCIC. We are doing a mock hearing, uh, mock hearing in front of ID. Uh, in the first section, we are gonna be doing the interview in front of the ID member where uh, I will be acting as an RCIC and Blanka is going to be acting as, uh, as uh, Samantha, she's the client. And in the second component, uh, uh, Blanca is going to be an RCIC and I'm going to be acting as a Samantha and an observer. So we are going to start the first section where uh, we are doing the interview with Samantha. Uh, so we're going to start now. Hi, Samantha. Hi. Uh, Samantha, I'm going to ask a few questions. Uh, please answer them honestly. And if you don't understand my question, please ask me to repeat the question. Okay? Okay. Can we proceed? Yes, please. Could you please tell me your name and date of birth? Yes. My name is Samantha Morales. Mm -hmm. I was born on March 4, 1979. Okay. What is your country of birth and citizenship? Chile. Chile. So you reside in Chile? Yes, I reside in Chile. Okay. Do you have a family in Chile? Yes, I have my husband and my two kids. Two kids. How old are your kids? One is four years and the other one is 10 years old. 10 years old. Okay. Do they go to school? Yes. Yes, they are at school. Both, both of them. Both of them. Okay. Do you have any family member in Canada? Yes, I do. I have my mom. Mm -hmm. She lives in Toronto and I have my auntie too. That She lives here in Vancouver. She lives in Vancouver. Yeah. So how, how would you describe your relationship to your mother? She's my best friend. Okay. Um, it's so scary, you know, because sometimes she knows me better than I know myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do without her. Right, right, right. I understand. How about uh, your aunt? How would you describe your relationship to her? It's unique. She has always okay. been my confidant. Okay. So you trust her a lot in her? Yes, of course. And she's uh, like my mom. She's like your mom. So if she yes. says something to you, something to you, you will listen to her. Yes, of course. Okay. Always. Always. Okay. And is this your first visit to Canada or you have No, this Canada? is the third one. Third one. Okay. You yes. came here twice before. So do you know when did you come to Canada? What was the purpose? Yes, I have been coming to Canada for the past two years. Mm -hmm. I came here for work. I, I work in landscaping, mm -hmm. of course, with a work permit. Okay. Uh, I was here in the past two years. The past two years. So which? Yes. Uh, so when you came last two times, where you landed? Which which city you came to? Toronto. You came to Toronto. Yes. And uh, do you remember that any time you didn't leave on time? No, never. Never. No, no, okay. no. So you you went back uh, without when you till the time your visa you worked only till the time your visa was valid, and then you went back to your country. Yes, that's it. How how long those uh, trips were when you came to Canada? For it was for how many months? For one month. One month or so. Yeah, just for work. Just for work, okay. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, so uh, this time around you came to Vancouver, right? Yes, it's the, it's the first time. First time you came to Vancouver. So yes. why you came to Vancouver this time around? Because my mother is dying. She's at the hospital right now here in Vancouver. Oh, sorry. Sorry to hear that. So uh, you said your mother is living in... Toronto. Yes. What? Why? Now you are saying she is in hospital in Vancouver. Could you please explain uh, why is that so? Yes, because she is receiving a treatment at the Vancouver General Hospital. Mm -hmm. She came here to visit her sister, mm -hmm. and here she had a health issue to her related to her ovarian cancer. Okay. That's why she is at the hospital. Okay, so your uh, my mother has been visiting Vancouver, and then that's why she got hospitalized. Yes, Vancouver. she was visiting her sister. Oh, she was visiting her sister. So who is her sister? 
Excuse me? Explain. You are saying her sister. Yeah. Or is it the same person you referred that your aunt is living in Vancouver? Exactly. The exactly. Person. The same person. The same person. Okay. Yes. Okay. And, uh, okay, so your mother is sick. So you came, how do you came to know about your mother is sick? My auntie told me. Your she aunt? sent me a message. She that sent she was with message. Other, Yes. When did she send that message to you? Few days ago. Few days ago. Okay. Yeah, a few days ago. Okay. So what do you did after that? Immediately, I bought a train ticket and I came here. You came here? Okay. Yes. Okay. So you heard from your aunt that your mother is sick. She sent you a message and you decided to come over to Canada. Yes. That's it. So... Uh, if I'm going through the exhibit provided by the minister, the CBSA officer has said that you didn't have any information about your aunt's address. You didn't have any information about your mother's uh, uh, hospital. So how would you explain that? You said you are very close to your mother. You're very close to your aunt. And you didn't have any information about that. Yes. You know, everything happened so fast, like I told you mm -hmm. before. The last thing that I was going to, to be thinking about the address, that for me was nothing. I just wanted to come here. This is the first time that I come here to Vancouver. I don't know where my aunt lives. Okay. So how you intended to go to meet your mother if you didn't have any address about the hospital, you didn't have any address about your aunt? So what was the plan like? How would you go there? Yeah, because my aunt or someone of a family were supposed to go to pick me up at the airport and bring me to my mother's hospital. Okay, so it was it was your aunt who was supposed to arrange someone to pick you up. Exactly. Okay, but uh, CBSA officer also stated in her affidavit that she gave you an opportunity to call your aunt. And, and there was no response. Yes. Unfortunately, when I called her, she mm -hmm. was at the hospital with my mom. She was at the ICU. So she, she didn't house. answer the phone. Okay. And she, the CBSA officer also said that nobody came to pick you up. Exactly. Because so, all the family was with my mom in that moment. Okay. So if uh, they were not able to come, what would we have done? In that scenario believe me probably i would take a taxi and try to to and to ask where where were about the hospital that were nearby that were nearby okay i don't know okay right so you would have you would have either waited for your aunt or you would have gone to the general hospital itself that's what exactly you exactly Okay. Uh, in the notes from the CBSA officer, they also mentioned that uh, you had a discussion with your aunt about moving permanently to Canada. Could you explain that discussion? Yeah, it was just a message. She told me, but uh, I told her that it was a good idea, mm -hmm. but I should plan for that. It's not so that. easy, exactly. It's not that just I'm going to come. Okay, could you elaborate a bit on uh, I should plan for that? Excuse me? Could you please elaborate a bit on when you said I should plan for that? Yes, but I had to talk with my husband. I had to see for my kids what I'm going to do. It's, it's, it's not just to come. Okay, okay. Okay, Samantha, is there anything else you want us to tell? Yes. Okay, please go ahead. I beg the authorities to please okay. let me stay here. Let me stay with my mom. I don't know how much time she has left. I beg the authorities to let me stay here. That's it. So when you are saying let you stay here, are you implying that you want to stay here permanently? No, no, no. I just want to stay with my mom. I just want to see how, how she is. Okay. I don't so want to stay forever here, no. So you want to support your mother and then you want to go back to Chile? Yes, that's it. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Here we finish the first part of the interview. Hi, uh, now we are going to go to the part two of the ID mock hearing. In this section, Blanca is going to be acting as an RCIC uh, and she will be making a submission to ID member. Uh, while I will be acting as Mantha and I will be hearing the submissions. So here we start. Good afternoon, Mr. Board Member. Thanks. In this case, in the case of Mrs. Samantha Morales, I consider that the CBSA office, officer overlook critical evidence. Section 55 of IRPA grants CBSA officers the authority to detain a foreign national under certain grounds. These grounds are already defined by law. The same principle can be found in the guideline two of the IRB. But in this case, there are not grounds for the detention of Mrs. Morales. Mrs. Samantha Morales has come to Canada in several locations. She always traveled with valid travel documents and a valid work permit and has always, always respected her immigration conditions. I would also like to point out that my client is married and has children, which are good reasons to go back to her home country. I believe none of the before mentioned reasons were taken in consideration by the officer when he detained her. The officer expresses to be suspicious of my client because she changed her arrival city. The officer also believed that my client was dishonest because she had little information regarding the exact location of places in Vancouver, such as the hospital or her aunt's place. However, it is worth mentioning that she was aware that her mother was at the Vancouver General Hospital. It is justifiable for my client not to know all the details of the directions, since she was under the impression that her family would pick her up from the airport to bring her to her mother. Also, considering the emotional state that my client had while traveling, it is understandable that she did not think of needing such information. Her main goal on this trip was to accompany her mother in such difficult time. Mrs. Samantha tried to contact her aunt by phone, but unfortunately her aunt was at the hospital with her mom and did not answer the phone. Eventually, while detained, she was able to contact her family to let her know of her situation. That is when her family contacted me for my services. The agent also doubted my client's truthful intention of coming to Canada after reading a text conversation on her phone between my client and her aunt. And I must clarify that the text never mentioned breaking any immigration law and that the conversation took place five or six months ago. It was a simple conversation about a future possibility to try to obtain the permanent residence. She has never violated immigration laws. The Minister Council has not considered IPA, subsection 22, paragraph 2, which does not preclude foreign nationals from entering Canada as a visitors, workers, or students, by just having a dual intent, having two intents, one for temporary residence and one for permanent residence, is legitimate. Mrs. Samantha Aunt, the person who first contacted me for my services, is willing to guarantee the return of her niece to Chile. Mrs. Samantha Aunt is a Canadian citizen with a permanent job, a reasonable salary with savings in her bank account. Please refer to Exhibit A and B for proof of citizenship and bank account. Mrs. Samantha also compromised to leave Canada once her mother has recovered. Please refer the letter provided from the hospital where Mrs. Samantha Morales is getting treated, Exhibit C. Mrs. Samantha never had a contradiction in her testimony. She always respected her immigration conditions and respected Canadian laws. After everything we reviewed today, it has been demonstrated that the minister has failed to meet the burden of proof. I respectfully request for Mrs. Samantha to be released and that you accept Mrs. Rosa Morales as a bonds person. 
or is trustworthy person who can make guarantees that my client will return to her home country. Please release my client so she can, so she can reunite with her mother and avoid further suffering. Thanks, Mr. Board Member. Thank you. Uh, so here we end our ID hearing. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you.